Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic digital banking. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and if you belong to payment industry or uh, you are studying any uh, subjects related to banking or digital banking, so this is a very important topic with respect to exam point of view. Also, uh, friend, if you are a professional person working in any organization related to payment industry, so again, this is very important that you understand the concept of digital banking. So friend, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start. Digital banking. <coughs> uh, friend, this is a very common phrase nowadays, common term digital banking. Uh, most of the people are talking about digital banking. Actually, digital banking is the digitization of all the traditional banking activities and programs services that we were historically were only available to customers when physically inside a bank uh, branch. What does it mean, friend? Basically, see, uh, friend, um, few years back, uh, we have to uh, go to bank and we have to submit our electricity bill, <coughs> our gas bills. Uh, if we have to open our account, we have to go to bank. If we have to withdraw uh, cash, so then we have to go. Uh, if we need a checkbook, we have to go to bank. Um, if we have to, if we want to take a loan from bank, we have to go bank. Uh, if to, if we want to uh, uh, car finance, then we have to go to bank. So now, a uh, friend, whatever the activities which were, we have to go to bank. And we have to submit an application. We have to uh, go through a lengthy process. Uh, we have to, for example, you have to submit a bill of your uh, credit card. Then you have to go to bank. So many activities were there for which you have to go to bank. So nowadays, uh, friend, uh, most of the activities uh, like, for example, cash withdrawing, uh, checkbook, uh, checkbook application, so many activities are there for which we are initially or a few years back like 10 years or 20 years back we have to go to bank and we have to apply for that nowadays you don't need to go to bank you can just uh, there are other mediums are available through which you can perform all those activities like for example uh, for example you have to uh, if you want to uh, withdraw cash so you don't need to go to exactly bank you can withdraw the cash from ATMs if you want to uh, a fund transfer like uh, if you want to send money from your account to any other account so you you don't need to go to bank you can use the mobile application of bank and you can uh, you can fund transfer and if you want to bill pay so again you don't need to go to bank you can just uh, add the billers uh, in your uh, mobile app and uh, you can transfer uh, you can pay your bills of electricity of gas water supply etc all the bills can be paid through uh, mobile application also also if you want to apply for checkbooks if you want to open account if you are, uh, want to apply for financial products like for example if you apply for car finance home loans etc so all those things can be managed through mobile applications and uh, uh, there are so many mediums are available through which you can you don't need to go to bank you can uh, like you can use ATMs, mobile banking, mobile apps, etc. Banks, the banking uh, apps, uh, mobile application of banks are now completely offering all approximately all those services for which initially we have to go to bank. Now you don't need to go to bank. You can use ATMs. Uh, you can use mobile application. You can also use the internet banking as well. Uh, the websites of banks as well for internet banking so all those uh, applications all those services for which initially we have to go to bank all those services <coughs> nowadays available through mobile application internet banking ATMs and other mediums as well are nowadays available through which you can fulfill all those activities so this is the concept of digital banking the concept of digital banking is that all those services for which initially you have to go to bank and perform all those services at a branch level you don't need to go to there you just perform all those activities through other act uh, through other mediums like mobile application 
ATMs, internet banking and telephone uh, for example you want to set a phone so uh, for example you have want to set a password so you don't need to go to bank you just uh, use the telephone lines uh, the prescribed number of telephone and dial it and you can change your password through IVRs uh, the biggest advantage of digital banking is that it simplifies the onboarding process uh, friend I am sure that you remember uh, that if you want to open an account in bank you have to go to bank and you have to fill a very big and lengthy f uh, form through which you have to go through and then you have to fill the form and then you can uh, then your your account will open nowadays uh, it becomes very simple nowadays uh, like for example internet banking is available uh, websites are available mobile applications are available through which you can apply uh, for account opening and your procedure become very simple and sitting at home <coughs> you can apply for account opening you don't need to go to uh, to the bank uh, then the banking is available 24 by 7 and 24 by 7 means friend like for example you can go at 2 a.m. in night and you can withdraw the cash from the ATMs uh, you can go uh, in evening after uh, 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock uh, and uh, you can apply you can do the fund transfer through mobile application or in internet banking uh, you can also use the ATM for fund transfer or IPFT so 24 by 7 banking is available uh, initially you know that uh, if if we talk about banking hours obviously banking hours are 9 to 6 so um, uh, there was some limit nowadays there is no such limit by using these uh, uh, mediums or sources like ATMs, mobile application, internet banking, websites uh, affect the cost saving as well <coughs> because see due to those uh, factors like mobile applications and other mediums the operational uh, load become less and uh, the uh, workload on the operations become less and we because see all the things are being handled through digitally so uh, we uh, the banks can uh, banks can put their cost uh, they can save their cost from operations and they can put their cost in more uh, digital works and more creative creativity uh, work so this is also very important that their cost is also saving due to all those uh, mediums so friend uh, uh, the uh, difference between online and digital banking is also a very important factor we must have to uh, discuss this topic here as well see uh, the difference between online banking and digital banking uh, friend uh, nowadays many banks uh, are having internet banking available internet banking means like for example any bank has a website you have to log in into the website and uh, you can do the basic core functionalities like uh, fund transfer bill paying uh, mobile top up etc all those uh, functionalities donations so all those types of functionalities are available on the uh, on the online banking online banking basically when we talk about online basic banking we are basically referring to internet banking and uh, nowadays uh, every bank almost every bank has a internet banking facility available internet banking means the website is available through which you can perform all the uh, core functionalities of banking core functionalities mean fund transfer uh, mobile top-ups uh, bill paying uh, bill bill pay for uh, like for uh, electricity water supply uh, gas bills uh, uh, mobile top-ups are also available IBFT f uh, fund transfer donation to any uh, donation for any charity purpose so all those types of basic functionalities are available through the internet banking that is called as the concept of online banking now the digital banking means friend the digital banking means the uh, whole sold uh, functionality all the functionality will be available digitally digital mean digital banking when we talk about digital banking we are referring to uh, all the f uh, functionalities of uh, digital banking like for example if you want to apply for loan if you want to apply for car finance uh, if you want to open account if you want to uh, apply for check uh, checkbook uh, you want to uh, open uh, if you, you want to uh, activate or deactivate your, your debit card uh, you you want to get your account statement uh, you want to uh, set your password etc all the functionalities nowadays is available digital banking so 
main difference between digital banking and online banking is that online banking refers to the core functionality of banking like bill payment uh, uh, mobile top up etc however when we talk about digital banking we are referring in a bigger picture bigger picture means all the core function all the functionality will be available digitally so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time